Hello everyone. In continuation with the Laplace transform, we'll be dealing here with the change of scale property. So by the end of the session, you'll be able to evaluate or solve the Laplace transform of the given functions using the change of scale property. So what this property says, the statement says that if the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s, then Laplace transform of f of a into t is equals to 1 by a times f of s by a. That means what wherever I have got my s, I'll be replacing that s. So if we'll observe here, so this t along with this t, if I have got a, then this what is the change in this f of s is this 1 upon a is getting multiplied with this f of s, but this s is not getting replaced as s by a. So every s we will be replacing as s by a in the change of scale property. The examples are very simple, but for, to have a uh, have the understanding of this topic or of this property thoroughly for you, I'm, I'm just giving the proof also. Uh, and I'll, I'll be just running through the proof very fast because it's just a simple integration, nothing more than that. So Laplace transform of f of t is 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt as per the definition says, then if I'm replacing my f of t as f of a t, where will be the change? So this would be the change. But what we can do it, we can make the substitution here. So we can make the substitution a t is equals to x because of this. So I have got this a t. So I'm replacing this a t variable with some x variable. What will happen at that time, this dt would be dx upon a because I need to have the substitution in such a way that this integration would be replaced, that this dt would be replaced as dx upon a. Then when t becomes t is 0, my x becomes 0 as it's just a, a scalar multiplication here. When t becomes, t is infinity at that time, x is also infinity. So the limit would remain the same. So Laplace of f of a t is 0 to infinity e to the power minus s x by a. What are we doing it exactly here? So if we'll just observe here. So this is a t. This t is getting replaced as this t is getting replaced as x by a. So this a t is equals to x means this t is equals to x by a. So this is x by a. f of a t. a t is again as this x. So it is f of x and d t is getting replaced as dx on a. Therefore it is 1 by a just because it's a constant. 1 by a is a constant with respect to x. The integration is with respect to x now. So it's 0 to infinity e to the power minus s by a into x into f of x dx. But what is it? It is nothing but 1 by a times f of s by a. So if you'll observe the definition of a Laplace transform. So if you'll observe this is what is the definition of Laplace transform. What is it? It is nothing but e to the power minus st f of t dt integration from 0 to infinity. This function we are writing it as f of s right this is we are writing it as f of s so if i have got this instead of so this is what the position if you see the position of s over here it's the e to the power minus of t the coefficient of that is nothing but my f of s so again if you will see this e to the power minus of the variable of the integration in the present case it is x so it's s by a and therefore it is 1 by a times f of s by a so you should understand the definition of a laplace transform very well to solve or to prove this the properties of laplace transforms okay, okay. let us go through walk through uh, through very simple examples uh, laplace of f of if the laplace of f of t is log of s plus 3 upon s plus a s plus 1 then the laplace of f of 2t is equals to so this is what is my f of phi of s or f of s or f bar of s as i've told i'll be using any notation at any time in my series of the lectures so this is nothing but Laplace of f of 2t. So this is what I am I'm seeking for this f of 2t is equals to 1 by 2 times log of. So what we have done in this phi of s or f of s, we have just replaced every s by s by a. So what is the value of a in the present case? a is nothing but here as 2. So this is what is my small a. So small a, every this s we have replaced as s by 2. So if you will observe, this is s by 2 we have replaced s by 2 we have replaced and the remaining constant will be same and what is the extra term is here this is also one of the term which was not present in f of s so this is what uh, is the final answer just by simplification then suppose this is also very uh, important question actually 
So this is Laplace of sine square root of t is square root of pi upon 2s square root of s e to the power minus 1 upon 4s. I have taken this example purposely with having maximum s in the pi f of s, right? So what would be my sine 2 square root of t? What is it? It's sine 2 square root of t. But what is the function? Sine square root of t. So what I need it here? So this is what is given to me. What I, what I want it? I want sine 2 square root of t which is same as, so this two would come inside the bracket, uh, inside the square root sign. Why I need that? Because my function is this, right? This is the function sine, sine square root of t. So I need to take this two inside the square root sign. So it is coming, it is going inside the square root sign with four. It would not be two. So it's sine square root of 40. So this is the important step to note it down here. Very important. It's just by using the property and therefore, now, this is what is the Laplace transform of f of 2t or at. At Now, what I have to do, a is in the present case is 4 and every s will be replacing as s by 4. So, wherever I have got s, I will be replacing it as s by 4. So, if you will observe, it is 1 by 4 because it is 1 by a. So, it is 1 by 4 into square root of pi, no change. But 2 into this s, we have got replaced as s by 4. This square root of s we have got replaced as square root of s by 4 into e to the power minus of 1 upon 4s. Again, this s will get replaced as s by 4. And therefore, after the simplification, we will, will be getting the answer of this particular Laplace transform of sine 2 square root of t using the, the given Laplace of sine square root of Very important property and uh, most of the time, whenever you are going for the extra uh, uh, ex, uh, means like the exams like uh, where, wherever there is a MCQ type of questions there you will have to use the properties whenever there are some exams like that so the basic concepts and basic definition of those uh, theorems and properties are very important and for that purpose you need to have under you need to have the understanding of the entire topic along with the definitions and the proofs and that is why I have, I have included the, pro the proofs of the properties in this videos. Okay, and again, come back to our the last slide, which is very important, and it is known as a self-observation slide. And where, wherever, when you have to have the, uh, so this has been three questions given to you along with the answers. You have to understand the property. So all these examples, you will definitely get through this theorem or this property very well. I hope you have understood the uh, the change of scale property of the Laplace transform. A very useful property, and most of the time, this property has been expected to have the MCQ type of questions. Thank you. Happy learning.